Hello, I'm Peter Schneider, Vice President of Product Management for Java. Thank you for joining us today. We're here to talk about a new release of Java ME Embedded 3.3. Uh, with me today, I have Jay Surrey, our Java Embedded Product Manager. Jay, thank you very much for joining me. Peter, thanks for inviting me. So Jay, we're here to, today to talk about uh, Java Embedded uh, ME 3.3 release that we've just come out with. Um, let's roll back a little bit firstly and just introduce people. What is Java ME Embedded? Sure. Um, Java ME Embedded is an embedded platform uh, for developing applications on really s low power devices which are resource constrained. So um, it's based on the same Java ME platform that has been uh, used on mobile phones for over 15 years now. And it's highly mature. It's standards-based, and uh, there's a whole big ecosystem of developers uh, using this platform. So we've taken the same Java ME platform and optimized it for uh, ARM architecture-based microcontrollers and other similar architectures. So it takes advantage uh, of uh, the, or rather, it lets you take advantage of these microcontrollers and uh, bring in features like low uh, power usage and memory management uh, and uh, network access on all these resource constrained devices. You can use Java ME embedded to build applications for uh, devices such as uh, wireless modules, smart meters, uh, home appliances, uh, wearable devices in healthcare, or uh, maybe even uh, industrial automation devices. So it has a wide range of uses and it really lowers the barrier in terms of application development and cuts down costs for application development uh, for embedded applications. Right, so this Java ME embedded really fits into our any device, any market, any size strategy. Um, and I know we continue to invest a lot in portability, ease of use, uh, developer productivity. Uh, so what things have we done in those areas specific to this release, to 3.3? Uh, in 3.3, uh, one of the key things we've done is we've released optimized binaries for reference platforms uh, right. like Raspberry Pi, uh, Kyle Board, and Qualcomm Orion. So what it does is it allows developers to download these binaries for free evaluation from uh, our Oracle Technology Network website and just run them on Raspberry Pi uh, uh, boards, which are very easily available and for a fairly low price. So uh, developers can get started with prototyping applications right away uh, without any expensive setup that's needed for embedded development. So that's one of the key things we've done. The other big thing is we've launched ME SDK 3.3, which includes support for ME embedded development. It has an emulator that allows you to build applications on your desktop. You can test, debug uh, using the ME SDK and then deploy onto a board. Uh, it also includes developer features um, such as uh, peripheral IO access API, uh, which allows you to connect to devices that are connected to your uh, uh, to your board. So like sensors connected over interfaces like I2C. Uh, and in ME uh, Embedded 3.3, we've introduced uh, features such as uh, support for UART, ADC, DAC, and AD command. So it makes it really easy for an embedded application developer to create apps that can talk to uh, peripherals that are connected to the device. Uh, the other thing we've done is we've introduced a developer API uh, for monitoring. So you can now monitor application memory usage and also logging. So it sounds like the introduction of 3.3 actually benefits traditional embedded C or native developers as much as it also benefits Java developers who maybe aren't as used to developing on embedded devices yeah. but bring their Java skill set. Um, so where does this fit in terms of M2M -M or edge devices, and how should we consider this, uh, this release for those things? Yeah, so ME Embedded is really great for embedded application development because it brings the richness of Java to embedded ap application development, which has, like I said, traditionally been very C-based or even in some cases assembly-based, uh, which includes long development life cycles. Uh, and, and the other big issue being that once you've deployed your application, once your device is out in the field, how do you update it? So ME Embedded makes your devices much more valuable. Uh, you can, uh, really, after your device is already out in the field, ME Embedded allows you to remotely uh, update your application over the air. 
uh, which increases your device life cycle. So in M2M, it's fairly typical to have really long device life cycles, like in industrial automation, for example. Devices don't change for almost 10 years. But with ME Embedded, you can uh, uh, deploy your device into, uh, into the field and then keep updating the applications that run on top of it to change functionality. That's one big thing. ME Embedded is uh, optimized for these environments. So we've taken a lot of effort in optimizing ME Embedded for microcontroller architectures and other ARM architectures. So uh, you, you're actually getting a, a runtime which is highly optimized for these platforms. So that's the other big uh, advantage you get with ME Embedded for M2M. Uh, then we have, like I'd mentioned before, evaluation binaries for these standard reference boards, which allows you to just uh, get started with prototyping out of the box. So you have no setup costs, uh, and you can just download our application binary, uh, runtime binary for free, and get started. Uh, so that's a big benefit for most uh, developers because it cuts down on time to market, because you can quickly, rapidly prototype and then move into production uh, once you're ready. Uh, the other big thing being it's standards-based, so which is really crucial, especially if you're OEM or who's developing on multiple different hardware platforms, and you may be working with different partners in the ecosystem. Uh, the standards-based ME uh, platform allows you to bring in all these developers and then integrate code much easily. And finally, uh, Java development tools are free. Unlike in most embedded uh, development environments, which use proprietary development tools, which tend to be quite expensive, um, Java development tools are all free. And so you can just use the free Java development tools and uh, it, for developing ME embedded applications. Uh, you can use it with most Java IDEs. Uh, ME SDK works with many Java IDEs. And so you can get started right out of the box again over there. Very good. And I know that that this also means by providing versioning and being able to update over the air that it's also faster time to market and provides competitive advantage. So as companies Absolutely. are looking to roll out new edge device based applications that ME can really give them uh, an advantage in the market. Absolutely, yes. Well, Jay, something I wanted to tell you about is we're also rolling out something called OJPI or Oracle Java Platform Integrator Program which is a program which is going to en enable companies to do their own ports of ME Embedded onto other boards that they may have historically used or find a specific advantage for certain devices in certain marketplaces. Mm -hmm. And we believe um, that, you know, like Oracle does with, with our Oracle Partner Network, that this is another vehicle where we're enabling partners to really take the core work that we've done on ME and port it over to other devices and to add value on top of what we've done at ME um, in order to provide even greater value into the market. So I'm very excited about OJPI, and I think it's going to be a great opportunity to build out, uh, further build out the ecosystem around Java Embedded. Absolutely. This sounds like a great idea. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you again, Jay. I appreciate you coming today. And thank you for joining us today. We're really excited about the work and progress that we're making with Java ME Embedded 3.3. If you'd like more information, please go to oracle.com slash Java. Please feel free to download the product, test it, and develop on it. Thank you again.